Looks like Sperry or somebody with a high rail truck coming at us. I heard a horn blasting its horn. It might be coming northbound too. But I got two red signals up here, so I don't know what's up. I just got down here. Looks like a truck with a camper on the back of it. All right, exciting day in Abbeville. Welcome back, y'all. I've been gone for two weeks working down in Georgia. I'm not near a railroad track down there, so I didn't get much trains. But I was hanging out near the Norfolk Southern anyway. I don't know if it's getting closer or further away. I don't know. It might be getting closer. Sounds like it's out near the prison. It's not at Red Street yet. I assume this is a spirit vehicle doing some track testing or something. I don't know. All right, he waved at us. All right. Very real. South and Connecticut. That's one of the trucks that they use a magnetic energy on the metal track and it tells when there's bad spots when they run over it. It's got a red signal so it's gonna go down there and stop. Must have found something. Yeah, we still got that train coming up behind us. Sound like it's getting closer. I assume he's gonna be on the main lot. I don't know. All right. He's backing up. Is that Red Street? I think somebody's going to get out and put a little paint on the rail. When they find a bad spot, they'll mark it.
there's our train coming around the corner down there. Looks like auto rack. He's coming down, they'll be on the main line. He's still got a red signal down there, so I don't see him going through. Alright, I'm catching when he gets closer. Filming the show here. Let me get back away from the track. He's on the ground over there, marking some stuff. They put the grease on the track, they're gonna run the scanner on the rail and look for the bad spot. That's a lubricant he puts down. Number 3309 on the head in. Stopping, they got a red signal. And that one, 992, this is ET44AH with distributed power. That's the front end. So 4,400 horsepower, AC or whatever. I don't know what the ET stands for. I guess that's a CW44AC, y'all. Look at the yellow, it looks like it got hot back there one time, burst the paint off or whatever, I don't know. How you doing? Right, you? Having a good time. Uh, I'm gonna pause it for a little bit. All right, they're getting down. Tie the train down. The conductor, he's going back to handbrake. This is one they don't like till late in the evening to take it on down to Columbia. They get down there now, they just probably be in the way. Or they gotta wait for the southbound auto wreck to head out for Columbia and empty it out. And then this one will come in. There's the engineer.
Pinedown Auto Rack, y'all. Well, parking. Tell you something, I cut her back on. Alright, I don't know how he did it. He never come around here and hit a button or nothing, but he tried to break down on this locomotive. You can see the brake chain is tight going up to the wheel over there. I've never seen him come around here and hit the button. He walked up to the cab, but then that time I look back here, these brakes are already set. They weren't set when I walked around there earlier. Thank y'all. Alright, this locomotive just shut down. He's not making air. 992 is the one making air for the train, for the brakes on the train. Spirit is still over there marking the rail that found the defect, I guess, over there where the old switch used to be. They took the switch out that went to the diamond spur and welded a new track in there, so right over in that area they're having problems with the defect. I'm going to walk on down just a little bit. And another interesting thing here is they got these two trailers here. No names on them. You got a trailer there and one on the other side over there. So I don't know what this is about, whether they got a job coming up, and that's materials for the job, I don't know. All right, thank y'all. All right, we ought to have a taxi coming for the crew, carry them to Greenwood so they can get off work. They got 13 miles to go before they get off of work. They just came up from Atlanta. I don't know how many miles that is away. Atlanta, Georgia. All right, thank y'all. Handbrake side down, crew's coming back. They're gonna knock off the brakes and let the train roll and see if the handbrakes are gonna hold them. They're going to be taking the brakes out here shortly. They'll knock the air off and see whether the hand brakes has got tied down. We'll hold this train. I don't know how many cars has got tied down. Ten or better, usually. 
because he is on the downhill slope here. A little bit level ground, but still got a lot of train pushing him down the hill. Got one of them digital bells on this one. All right, I'm gonna pause it for a little bit. Maybe I'll get some more excitement in a little bit. All right, lead locomotive crank up. He's unknocked his brakes off. He's not rolling. So that means he got enough hand brakes tied down so his train will park here. See the brake piston is in now. No brakes on the train except for hand brakes holding this train right now on this hill. I didn't see it roll one bit. So he's got enough hand brakes tied down. I assume he's going to apply the brakes back in a little bit. <coughs> he's telling his test and then he'll reset the brakes. <coughs> I'm going to cut the camera off. If it puts the brakes back, I'll take a picture of it. All right, he just reapplied the brakes to it. You can still have the air from it pumping in it. Or air being sucked out to put the brakes on. Or bend it out. Alright, uh, crew in the taxi. The taxi I'll be throwing up. The crew be getting out getting in the taxi. I don't know what Spirit's still doing over there. They're still sitting there. Alright, uh, Spirit's taking off again. 
As soon as they give them a clear signal so they can come off the side and on to the main line and the Greenwood. I assume that some of that magnetic resonance, they put electric current in the rail and it creates a magnetic field and they go analyze that magnetic field and they can tell whether there's bad spots in the rails or not. All right, they got another defect down there, I guess. anybody get now Still on the train, wait for the taxi, y'all. I'm gonna pause if I see him getting out, I'm gonna mark the track or something, I'll get pictures of it. Alright, thank y'all. Taxi coming in. For our crew from the auto rack train. Those are the two trailers I was talking about, again. Spear is still sitting there. I haven't seen anybody get out and mark the track. Yeah, and he did reapply the brakes. I can see the piston poking out now. I'm going to pause it. Conductor getting off. Got his brakes sticking and everything. That's smoking. How you doing today? You having fun? Nope. Oh. How long did it take to get here? I went on duty at two. I went on duty at two, y'all. Locking the doors up. Keep the bad guys off the locomotive. Nobody's going to steal this train or steal parts off of it. Back here. Good? Everything I try to learn is good. Pass where you stay at now. Ah. Uh. All right, they fishing. Get off. Go to Greenwood and get off. I think it's somewhere around about nine o'clock. He got on at two this morning.
All right, so we got a train tied down in Naville, and we still got Spiri down there. Bye-bye, y'all. God bless you. CSX man over there talking to these guys. I don't know if he's giving them a report or got questions he's going to answer for them or what. We got another vehicle on the track over here. I don't know who that is. CSX high rail truck there. Looks like a newer one. Checking out maps or checking out defects, I'm not sure. Alright, I'll get some more in a little bit. Alright, their little meeting's breaking up over there. He's probably going down to talk to the other high rail truck. It's down there on the other side, on the side pulled up next to that locomotive. They're going back to get on the Spirit vehicle. I didn't see them marking any tracks. So I guess they just pulled up and stopped to talk to the track maintainer over there. So, see what happens to them. They might get a clear signal and head on out, or they might be heading back to Red Street to get off the track. I don't know what, what's going to be up with them. Alright. Let's see where, where they go. Alright, y'all hold on, I'll, I'll catch them when they move. Alright, our track maintained to come back to his truck. Oh, he went and got something. He's going back to talk to his buddy with the other CSX truck parked on the other side of the locomotive over there. Alright, thank y'all. Alright, uh, spirit truck's going. Let me see if I can see the signals down there. They say it got red over red on the side, so I don't know how far it's going. I don't think he gets to go past the red signal. We're going to see. Look like he's going on past through the red signal.
He has to line that switch for him. Maybe he lined the switch, he just didn't give him a clear signal. Well, he's going on through, he's on the switch now. So I would say the switch was lying for the side. He's through the switch, he's headed to Greenwood. There you go. Putting on brake lights. See what the rest of them are doing. They're down there looking at where they marked the track at. They're checking that defect out. Now, both of them out there checking that. I got somebody trying to call me. I gotta go work here in a little bit. They're still sitting down there. Coming back at us, y'all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go to work here. I've been called up and told they need me at work, so I'm going to head on up there. I got to go to the press and banner and do some construction work up there, working on a roof and got to clean up a room up there that's got a bunch of Stuff's gonna get cleaned out because it got wet because the roof leaked. So as soon as these people are cleaned up, are finished up. They're probably going to head back up to Red Street and get off the track. I don't think they're going to go to Greenwood. I don't know what all they're going to do.
All right, y'all have fun. I hope you enjoyed this. God bless y'all. I'm fixing to go back to work. Bye-bye. Like both locomotives online making up air right now. Definitely sounds like the second one speeding up to pump air. Track maintainer walking back to his truck. Alright, I hope y'all having fun like I am. But I gotta go to work now. So I'm gonna hang up and put the phone in my pocket. God bless y'all. Hope you're having fun like I am. Thank you. Alright, prisoners coming on back. Looks like the other trucks on left. They're probably going back to Red Street to get off the track. All right, CSA jump pulled out. Track maintainer. Uh, driver waving at me. Waving bye bye. Alright, going to shut her down. They're all gone. Thank you. Hope you have fun. Alright. This is some stuff sitting on the ground. Looks like two sets of stairs, but I don't know what they're going to bolt these up to. They don't look like they go to a railroad car or locomotive or nothing. Three steps high. Big anchors at the bottom to hook them up. A mount dipper. That one's got eight bolt holes in it like in a circle. This one's got two bolts sticking out it over here. Looks like a bumper block or something right there. And then over here you don't have anything but two holes. Is it sends a T10 CSX milk run division team T10 you got this one Plaza American I don't know what it is send to T10 from Irwin shop CSX Milk Run T10 Class American. I don't know what that is. 201 Myers Road, Chesapeake, Virginia. Maybe somebody up there can watch my videos and tell me what I'm looking at. Look, these trailers that I pointed out a while ago in an earlier part of my video, these are empty. See how far the wheels have slid forward? These are empty trailers. There's nothing on them, I don't guess. There's the other one over there. See how far the wheels are pulled forward? Those are empty trailers. All right, nothing going on right now. I'm going to stop the video and go walk around and see if I find any more stuff. All right, thank y'all. All right, there's your medium clear signal, red over green, medium clear, 35 miles an hour in the siding. And I do hear train horns, so I got one coming out of Atlanta, coming my way. Headed to Greenwood. So 
they got all the racks sitting down there. All right, thank y'all. All right, y'all, our train is getting closer. I can hear them. I don't know what that is. Is that something that fell off of a train? Looks like some padding where they would tie something down or something. I don't know, it's just laying out on the track. I don't know what that is or what it's for. I hear him blowing the horn. He's getting closer. Sound like he's out near Prisman. Sound like he's still pulling uphill. If he's at Prisman, he's going over the top now, but that means he's still got his train is on one side of the hill and he's on the other side, his engine, but he's still pulling the train up the hill. So, all right, when it gets closer, I'll film him. All right, switch is lying for the side, and we got a train coming down through the side in a little bit. I'll catch it when it comes. All right, thank y'all. All right, I heard him blowing at Red Street, so you ought to be coming down the hill around the corner. I had a phone call, so I couldn't film it, what was going on. Uh, let me zoom back out and I'll catch this. Uh, hold on, everybody. All right, here's our train coming. Looks like a coal train. He's honking at us. Take him to Greenwood. They'll change crews over there. He'll run down to Columbia. They'll change crews there. And then they head over towards the ocean. I forget the name of the town that goes to. Flat spot on that one. Two cars in flat spot. You don't hear too much. They be taking care of this train. Not slide wheels and stuff. I'll tell you what, they lubricate these rails because usually it's squeaky as heck down here near the switch. It used to be you hear a bunch of squeal and stuff. Looks like I got DTU coming up. Near the bottom of the middle down there. Oh, flame squeal going there. Here comes our engine. Through the switch. 
coming up. No lights flashing. Of course, you usually don't at daytime. All right, head to the Greenwood. Greenwood crew coming home, y'all. Headed downhill. Engine's probably across the creek at the bottom and starting to pull up the hill. But it sounded like it was still in dynamics when the DPU came by. All right, thank y'all. Thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Have a good day. I sure am. All right, he's going on down around the corner now. All right, bye-bye. Have fun.